Hi, welcome. I'm Hannah. I have a lot of lipsticks and I'm always kind of looking for like a new creative way to work through my collection, to see what I have, to assess what I still want, what's not good anymore, make sure I'm like appreciating what I have. Last year I was doing like a, a monthly little lip wardrobe, at least for the beginning of the year, where I was only using like a small selection and then kind of like assessing them afterwards. And that's all well and good, but there's only like so many I can try that thoroughly every month. So what I'm gonna do, at least for the month of January, and we'll see how long it goes for, is I wanna come on and show you the lipstick I'm wearing each day and then put it to the side and try to like just get through as many as possible, give each of them their own day and yeah, see where that takes me. Because I feel like one of the best ways to declutter if you're trying to minimize your collection is just to like use the thing and see how it makes you feel. So that's what I'm doing. Um, it's January 3rd right now. I wore lipstick yesterday and I forgot to do this. I actually was on camera because I filmed my like intro to my budget video, but we're gonna ignore that for terms of lipsticks and I'll just like wear that some other time because I'm excited about that lipstick anyway. So for today, what I'm wearing is mini from the Kylie Cosmetics and Courtney collab. It kind of surprises me sometimes how bright the like coral tone is, but it's very wearable and I like it a lot. I like it when I have like a very warm crease and I really like the satin formula from Kylie Cosmetics. I don't know if they brought that back ever after she like rebranded, which wasn't really a rebrand, but it's one of my favorite formulas and yeah. I'm wearing the e.l.f. Hydrating Core Lip Shine, yeah, kind of like a bomb, in the shade Joyful. Quite pink. Very cute. So I'm wearing the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Crushin. And as I was putting this on, I was like, oh, I'll definitely be able to declutter this. I hate the brush. It's like the stupid little, like, plasticky bristle brush. It just doesn't feel good going on, you know? I just don't like it. But I love the color and the finish. I really like this. I was staring at it, I'm like, I wanna eyeshadow this color. I probably have one, but I wanna like identify an eyeshadow this color. So today I'm wearing Echo Park from ColourPop. This was one of their ultra satins that they don't have anymore that I love. This is a shade that if they still had it, I would definitely get rid of this and just replace it with a newer one because it's pretty old, but they don't make these anymore and I love this shade so much. It's one of the best lipsticks in my whole collection. I love it. Do you see how perfect that color is? On my lips, I have the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Fab. This was with, I think they're like desert collection over the summer, unless I'm totally wrong. I don't know. Putting it on, I was like, I'm gonna hate this. Having it on, I like this. Why does this happen with every lipstick? Do I just like every lipstick? Is that just the thing? It's like a brown without being too brown. The formula is very thin. It almost feels like I'm not wearing anything. It does kind of smell a little weird. Like it smells like it was heated up, kind of. I don't know, that might end up being its downfall. But this is the shade fab. Today I started my lip look with the Kylie lip liner in Charm. This was, this went with one of her velvets. I don't think it's still in the line anymore, but I wasn't too crazy about it. I just felt like I needed a lip liner today because the main product I went in with is this e.l.f. Ride or Die lip balm. It's in the shade Tough Cookie. It smells like cookies. I really like the experience of, of using it. I like the way it looks. The only thing that I dislike is that it doesn't really have an applicator. So you kind of have to like squeeze it out onto your finger and then pat it on, which is not something I can, I feel like I really want to reapply out in the world. So that kind of um, is a major point against it, but I like it. I'm wearing the ColourPop Just a Tint. It's in the shade It doesn't say the shade. Give me s'more. Oh, it's like a nice little bubble sticker on top. I really like it. It's really light. Smells really fruity. I like it. 
Today I'm wearing the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Gold Digger. It's way more bold than I remembered it being. I thought it was going to be more of like a leaning purpley pink and it's very like reddish and bright, kind of like strawberry-ish. It reminds me of Lolita too, in a way, which I do really like. I'm just surprised I wasn't expecting it to be this bold with this makeup look. But yeah, nice formula. I like it. Am I just gonna say I like it for all of them? I'm wearing the Rare Beauty Dewy Lip Balm in Thankful. I like that it's kind of like gray brownish toned. I feel like it's like a weird color, but I like it and it looks super juicy. So I'm using the ColourPop and Hello Kitty Balm in Fun in the Sun. I really like this one. It was like part of the three set and it was the best one, clearly, without a doubt. I grabbed a lip liner to pair with it and I was thinking I was grabbing my like peachier lip liner from ColourPop, but I accidentally grabbed BFF too. So this is a little bit more statement than I thought it was going to be, but it works and I like the finish a lot. I think I've mentioned before how I used to love the Butter Lipstick shade Pops from NYX and then I lost it a couple years ago and I did some online research and found out that it's been renamed Root Beer Float. So I bought Root, Root, so I bought Root Beer Float but I never felt like it was the same exact shade. It just felt pinkier than I remembered Pops being. Well, either way. So today, I put on Root Beer Float and then I'm kind of sitting there, I open my drawer to look for something else and I see Root Beer Float in my drawer? What? And then I look at what I put on my lips and it's Pops. So I found it and didn't even realize because I thought it was the other one. So I don't know how long I've been having both of them thinking they're one. I know it was at least lost for a certain period of time. I don't know, weird. But this is Pops. And I could do a little comparison now because I have both of them. So there's Pops. It does look pretty pink. And then we have the newer replacement of Root Beer Float. Does it look slightly more pink or am I nuts? Because I think this is more pink than I would have guessed it was a while ago. I don't know. Either way, I know Pops is really old now. I probably got it in like 2014, 2015, like really old. And then I probably got the replacement in like 2018 maybe. So they both, they both might be on their way out kind of soon, but um, yeah, just weird, just weird. So I thought I was just putting on this lipstick for a second just to like try it on and then be like, and now let me put on my other lipstick but I'm really digging it. And I like it with this eyes as like a really kind of like moody, stormy kind of look. I like the orange cheeks with it, it's unexpected. This is the Melt Lipstick in Moda. It's an iridescent lipstick. I bought it after I decluttered, I think it's Dr. M from ColourPop. It was like an old ultra matte they used to have that was like this greenish color and I liked having that in my collection just for when I wanted something funky or if I was like going to a concert and I wanted to do like a really basic eye and like a really unexpected lip. I'm not the biggest fan of this formula because it just feels super dry and especially this one I could like feel the glitter chunks in it but I really like it on my lips for like a unusual lip color. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this on when I finish all of my makeup, but right now I'm wearing the Fenty Beauty Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. I really like it because it's kind of like an extra thick lip balm. It's not as like slippery as a gloss. Really just feels like a thick lip balm, but I think it looks like a nice gloss. And it's really easy to wear, really comfortable. It's really similar to the color of my lips, but that just makes it super easy to wear. So today I'm wearing Point Zero from ColourPop. It's the Ultra Satin collab with Kathleen Lights from so long ago. And I do still like it, but I just feel like with this look, it looks kind of like, I don't, I want to say old fashioned. Maybe I just mean like out of trend. Like I feel like this is a very like 2016 kind of look. It doesn't always bother me, but I like the fact that I noticed it kind of means something to me. I do like this eye look though. I like my lip shape. And I think I still would like it with a more subtle look, maybe just like a wash of shimmer on the eyes, something with the eyes that's more distinctively like modern, I might like this more with because 
it is still kind of cute and special. So I'm wearing On The Go from Melt. Again, not my favorite formula, kind of smells like Play-Doh, but I do really like this lip color. It's like a really nice pinky nude that doesn't lean too much either way. Like it is like a My Lips But Better kind of color. And I don't know, I'm torn. Even holding it, I could smell the Play-Doh right now. I don't know where it literally just went because I just put it on, but I'm wearing the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in Lay Low. I really love it. I knew I loved it at the time. And even this, like putting this on, I'm like, why do I not wear this every day? I'm kind of realizing that's my problem if I just love all of my lipsticks, like I need to just stop getting them, which I've kind of done for the most part. But isn't this just like the perfect everyday lipstick? I really like it. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the shade Happy. I know I used Joyful earlier this month. I'd be curious to compare how they're similar and different, but this is just so nice. It does have this like really artificial kind of tropical flavor, which is, isn't my favorite. I do like flavored things, but this particular one tastes like a little bit chemically to me, but I really like how it looks. So we're doing another ColourPop Luxe lipstick today. This is in the shade Simon Says. It was part of their, I think like their holiday release in 2019. It was in a little set with a lip liner and I really liked it. I still really like it. It's kind of like a orangey-ish, brownish color. And I really like it. Elf Golden Pear, the sheer balmy staple of my life. I'm wearing the Milani Fruit Fetish Strawberry Lemonade Lip Balm. I got three of these in a trend mood box. I'm not sure if I have all three still in my collection or just two of them. There was two that I just grabbed this from. It's a nice gloss. It's very like wet looking shine, just like looks like water. It's a pleasant fragrance and stuff. So I definitely don't need three. I don't think I even need two, but I like this one. It's very neutral, comfortable, easy. So tonight I'm wearing the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. This is in the shade Lumiere. This was the original collab with ColourPop and Kathleen Lights, I believe. And it's a pretty like pinky, mauve -y color, super comfortable formula. And I like it. Look at my eyes too. This is not about my eyes, but on my lids, I'm wearing Terra Moon's Phoenix and I put ColourPop Hungry, Glo Hungry Ghost Glitter on top of it. And isn't this like really cool? I like it too. Today I'm wearing my favorite ColourPop, no. Today I'm wearing my favorite burgundy lipstick, which is the ColourPop Ultra Satin in Prim. It's the kind of lipstick that I really like, I don't always reach for, and I like when I'm like trying to go through all my lipsticks because it makes me think of things like this. And I really like it. So I'm currently wearing the Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in Coco K. I've had this forever. I used to really like the liquid lipstick, but now it's just the lip liner kicking around. This used to be a color that I was like really into. Now it feels pretty light, but I feel like for a look like this, I just want kind of lip liner to give myself like an edge to keep the lip gloss within. I don't know if it's in my head or not, but I always feel like I need a lip liner when I do a gloss. For the gloss, I'm wearing ColourPop Rattler. It's a glossy lip. Maybe I got it like a year and a half ago, something like that. And I think it's a pretty nice color. I think it definitely can lean more brown if I have it over a more brown lip liner. It looks kind of more rosy nude with this lip liner. I like it, but I do hate this ColourPop um, little brush. I wish they still had like the doe foot like they started out with. Still don't understand that, but looks cute. Today I'm wearing the ColourPop Ultra Satin in Barracuda. I remember liking this as like a deep lipstick that isn't a red, and I'm kind of surprised by how much I still like it with my current tastes. I just think it's like really flattering and it's dark without like seeming too bold and I'm into it. And that's a wrap on this whole month of lipsticks. I hope this wasn't like, I mean, I, I want to say not too all over the place, but it definitely was all over the place, but I hope it wasn't 
visually unappealing. I am surprised that I liked all the lipsticks I used this month as much as I did. I know there's at least one that I use that isn't here because I know I use two of these like little elf hydrator ones. So I'm not sure where that is. I looked in my bags, but if we include that and assume this is the rest of them, that's 27 lipsticks that we used this month. I don't want to declutter any of them, which is kind of surprising to me, but I think it also shows that I'm kind of turning a leaf with my lipstick collection that I know them a little better than I used to and I don't have as many really stinky old ones littering about. I'm also saying that as I filmed a lipstick declutter yesterday, which is going to be going up soon. So if you like lipstick content, that's coming and it's super exciting because I got rid of so many. But yeah, I'm happy. I'm excited to review this footage and see how many I have that are really similar because I know I said I like it a lot for so many of them. Maybe I'll do this in February also if it's not too much of a mess because I kind of liked this process of filming my lips every day. Yeah, that's everything. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe. It really means a lot to me and that's everything.